Hey guys, so I'm gonna make a quick little video about um, actually how I make these videos. So basically, I think this is the quickest or the easiest to explain way. Um, I know it's not the best way or whatever. I never know the exact best way to do anything and there never really is to be honest. <laughs> but basically the main way that I do it is through um, aux IOs. So if we're in uh, Pro Tools here, I made a track. So as you can see, my mic is going through the session that I'm working in right now, which I just did a video on uh, triggering. So basically, I have a track that's my mic right now, uh, not record enabled, but input enabled. So what I'm doing is having a live mic through this the entire time, and I'm sending this to an aux, and basically this aux is sending straight to QuickTime. So QuickTime is the thing I'm using because it's free and um, it's available here. So it's just, I think it's just the easiest way to do it. And so how I'm doing it is basically what you want to do is go to the setup and go to your IO settings. And inside my IO settings, I've created a new output through this aux IO button right here. And it's going to show up this warning right here. And um, you can go ahead and just skip over that. So Pro Tools gives you all these audio bridges that you can use that will show up in QuickTime. So I decided to use Pro Tools Audio Bridge 2, which I've already had set up, and I've renamed it to QT, so I just know what I'm looking at. And if you go into QuickTime, go to um, Input, um, your input source, you can select all the Pro Tools bridges. And so I've selected Pro Tools uh, Bridge 2B, I think it was, and I've renamed it on Pro Tools so that this aux uh, track that I have, I'm outputting it to through QuickTime 1-2, which is just renamed as... Pro Tools Bridge 2B. So basically, everything that I send to this aux will go right through. And um, I usually do a lot of folder tracks in my, all of my sessions, so it's pretty easy to just go right through. And I'll send everything in the session to... Right now, I have this as 5152 because I have a lot of buses. And um, basically, what that's doing is all of these tracks are sending straight through into QuickTime. So I'll show you real quick. Isn't anyone down? So what you're seeing is I have the uh, vocals sending through, the guitars, the bass, and then the drums. And there's some things on here that, you know, for this song, like there's no gang vocals, no aux percussion stuff. This delay isn't sending through. But uh, I have some reverb stuff inside of these folders, and so those all of that is automatically sending. So I have all the guitar tracks in one folder, and I'm just sending all of that uh, straight to QuickTime. And so on my own voice right now, I'm sending it to QuickTime 2. And I'm, I don't have anything set on pre, but I do have everything falling main pan. Obviously not my mic right now that you're hearing because it's just mono. And so I just threw a little quick compressor on here. So that's actually what I'm doing in all my videos is I just throw a little compressor. And then I have just a little EQ so that, you know, I'm not actually hearing it right now because I'm sending the output straight to QuickTime. But I'm hearing all the music because I'm still hearing it through stereo. So I'm not changing the output. The output is still going straight to stereo so I can hear it because I'm using monitors right now. I'm not wearing headphones right now. And it's basically just allowing me to send a whole separate mix straight to QuickTime. But like I said, they're all set to Unity and follow main pan and they're not pre. So everything that I'm hearing right now is going to be recorded back through. And so I have my output set only to QuickTime on just my main mic because I don't want to hear my own voice through these monitors and create a bunch of feedback. So that's the easiest way to do it, um, in my opinion, is you just use this aux IO up here, which is just a whole separate um, set. So go to the output again, aux IO, and you can choose any of these, but this is just a stereo out, so I just chose this and renamed it QuickTime. So yeah, that's the easiest way to get audio out of Pro Tools recorded to QuickTime. And without having to use some kind of other application that records multiple uh, interfaces at once is I just record myself in this session right now. This is what you're hearing. It's the same exact session. And it's just on input monitoring so that you can hear what I'm saying at the same time. I can hear the music back through these monitors. The music plays into QuickTime. And it all works exactly how I need it to. And I don't need to get some screen recording programs, some kind of multi-input uh, audio program or anything. It's all just free. It's just right inside of Pro Tools. You could just do it this way. So that's the easiest way to do this, in my opinion. So hopefully that's useful to somebody.